Hey, Heidi Ho neighbor. You heard about um, if you want a better job, build a bit better mousetrap. Well, I wanted a better job, so I built a better rat trap. Yes, you all saw the one I had before. Well, let me tell you, this one is a lot better. And I'm going to tell you and explain why. Our first rat trap was too long. This one is a lot shorter. Okay. I also enforced my rat trap. If you look inside there, you can get a close up. I put a box that fits in right inside this box and it stabilizes it a lot better. Okay. I also you know, if I got as close as I could. See this little lip here? Rats are very curious animal. Yes, they are. Um, and what I did was, a rat will fit right through this hole. I don't care how big the rat is. On my last one, my hole was two and a half inches by two inches. And I think that was too big. Because, uh, they like tight areas. So what I did was I made it two inches by two inches on the top of this blue lip here. Okay. Alrighty. And of course I went out and I bought another rat trap because uh, I think I'm gonna be uh, catching some few rats over there in another friend of mine's house. But anyways, um, rats are very curious animals. They're going to uh, actually, of course, sniff in there. And you're going to put peanut butter on here. I also found out crunchy peanut butter works better than creamy. I don't know why. Maybe they can smell the peanut or whatever it is. But, uh, um, crunchy works better. So anyways, so you do all that, put that on there, set your trap in here. This is a Tomcat. Cost me under two bucks. I think it was a uh, dollar ninety-five or something. So with tax, a little over two bucks. Right there it is. Anyway, set your trap. Put it in there, close up your box, okay, we're all set to go, alright, and what you want to do, see this is your wall, okay, so see where the hole is, that's where you want to have your hole, okay. It's up against that wall. This way, because rats, if you ever notice rats running around, they are always running around along the what They don't run across the floor. What floor? They're slithering around the room. So now, if you want your trap, put your trap on this side. Say this is your wall. Look where your hole is. You don't want that. You want this hole right up against the wall. Yes, I found that out too. I was over at a friend of mine. Fr friend of mine, I'm going to tell you this story. It's a true story. Um, Wendy, she called me up. Dave, I have rats. I said, are you sure? It wasn't the mouse. No, this was a big rat. And I'm telling you, it was a big. This rat was as big around as my coffee cup after I caught it. So anyways, I brought my old trap over there, and yes, it did work to catch uh, the rats that were over there, but uh, I had I had that lip, I had a little lip over here, and it was more, and they, I don't think they liked it, and the box was too long, plus now, this box has some weight on the bottom, and it's going to be stabilized, okay, 
they're not going to knock that over. Even though it's a little higher, I probably could have cut it off, but I'm not going to. Because it, with that bottom on there, it stabilizes it. Okay, so anyways, so I fixed up this box. As you can see, it's kind of tore up there, but anyway. And I, and I put it up against the wall, and let me tell you, we, me and Wendy, we were having coffee, and all of a sudden I heard this noise, and I said, hey, it sounded like that rat trap. It wasn't a half hour. <laughs> I was over there. This was right after I had taken the rat out of the trap itself, because she went down to go to work, uh, because of the rats. So, sure enough, open up my thing and hear this ah uh, this box was you could hear it flopping in there <laughs> yeah I was flopping in there let me tell you and she goes oh no she's all hysterical and what have you and oh it's going to jump out of there I said no we got it it's it's dying you know of course she had to go to the bathroom and you know fix her face up again so she could go to work <laughs> but anyways <coughs> So, of course, I took the rat out of there, threw it away, uh, reset the trap, and uh, 5 o'clock, well, it was about 5 o'clock in the evening, she calls me up, Dave, get that stinky rat out of here. I said, you got another one, really? Yes, I can see the tail. <laughs> so, of course, I'm in my pajamas because it's cold outside. I wasn't going outside. So, I drive over there, and here... Here's this rat tail hanging out about this far, and boy was he a monster. He was a, it was a big male, and let me tell you, yes, I know he was a male, let me tell you, you can tell. Uh, here that tail was sticking out of the trap this far, so, yeah. So here, people, you take, uh, you know, and I, I hate to tell you about putting a rat trap and just setting it off there. Yeah, that works. But they're going to figure out how to get that off of there uh, without killing themselves. What you need is a box. Box does the trick for rats. Why? Because for one thing, they're a very curious animal. Okay, They're going to smell that peanut butter in there. Okay, they can see at night too, and they're going to see that, and they're going to smell that, and they're going to wander around the box, try to, just like a raccoon, figure out how to get in there, jump on top of the box, figure out how to get in there, blah, 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 they're not, they're going to go right through that hole, they're going to see Mr. Crap, and then all of a sudden, bingo, you are dead, remember that folks. Right here it is. The ultimate rat trap. I'm going to have to put my name on there. Dave's Rat Trap Service. What do you think of that? Hey, you all take care. Bye-bye then.